Yeah, Patrick, it's that time of the year, man, where we're, you know, we're fired up for these great NFL playoff games, but we also see the end of the season, you know, looming on the horizon for the NFL. So it's kind of bittersweet. But I'll say this, as we go into the conference championship games, I think most people, most people would say the four best teams in the NFL made it to the Final Four, to the conference championship games. It's going to be the 49ers taking on the Eagles and the Bengals and the Chiefs. I think for the most part, those were probably the four best teams throughout the season. Maybe outside of Buffalo, who had some good moments, but I think those are the four best teams. Yeah, it's funny how we kind of overlooked Joe Burrow for some reason and really, you know, we're riding the Josh Allen wagon even, yeah. you know, before the DeMar Hamlin thing. And then you've come to find out, gosh, oh, yeah, it's Joey B. <laughs> Joe Burr, as they just call him now, because Burr. he's just icy, man. Ice in his veins. The coolest guy. No pressure on him, man. Yeah, Joe Burrow was fantastic last night, uh, or, or, you know, this weekend, beating Buffalo in Buffalo in the snow. And that game on Sunday afternoon was awesome to watch because, you know, I don't know, it's just fitting, man. Cincinnati wearing all white in the yeah. snow, Joe Burr doing his thing. Like, it was uh, the Bengals, man, like, this is the start of a dynasty. They've got great young receivers. Obviously, Joe Burrow's a great young quarterback. They're going to be around for a while, Patrick. They got everything stacked against him in this game. And I guess we just forgot about Joey B. I mean, DeMar Hamlin's getting the crowd fired up. Yeah. He's in enemy territory. It's snowing. And they handled the game easily. Yeah. Not, there was no doubt about it. Like, Cincinnati was clearly the better team. And again, playing on the road in Buffalo, in the snow, like, they, that should be an uphill battle. That should be a mountain to climb for the Bengals, and it wasn't, man. They felt like right at home in Buffalo, right at home in the snow, and uh, it was 27 to 10. So we talk about Joe Burrow and that offense. How about that Cincinnati defense, too, holding Buffalo to just 10 points in that game. So now they're going back to the AFC Championship game. They will take on the Chiefs as the Chiefs got past Jacksonville 27 to 20. And Patrick, the storyline there for the Chiefs was Patrick Mahomes' uh, high ankle sprain. So we we don't know. I, listen, we're, we're all going to assume Mahomes is going to play in the championship game. But right. he might not be 100% in that game um, against Cincinnati. Boy, you never know what's going to happen in the NFL season. And when he went to the locker room after slamming his helmet down and all that stuff, it was like, oh, my goodness. But still, 80% Patrick Mahomes, I guess, is still as good as everyone else. It was amazing. Yeah, and then even Chad Henney got in there, right? Let him on that long touchdown drive. I'm like, yes. oh, my gosh, this Kansas City team, man. Sometimes they just kind of make me sick. Like, they're too good. They make it look too easy sometimes on offense. Yeah, and here we go again. Joe Burr <laughs> and Patty Mahomes. Oh, Another man. AFC Championship game on site, which I'm kind of glad for the fans. No offense to the DeMar Hamlin thing. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, another uh, Joe Burr, you know, tall tale here is Joe Burrow was telling everyone after the game that, hey, go get your refunds because if you thought the Bills were going to beat the Bengals and play at that neutral site AFC championship game, go get your refund right now because, no, the Bills are not advancing. The Bengals are moving on. The Bengals are going to Kansas City to play for that championship. <laughs> That's right. He was asked about the neutral site. What about all those people who bought those tickets? You better get those <laughs> refunds. Unbelievable. So, yeah, it is Cincinnati. It's Kansas City AFC Championship again. Kansas City's gone to five straight AFC Championship games, but here's the deal, Patrick. Uh, you know, we'll probably talk about this game a little bit more later in the week, but here's what we know so far. The Bengals have been the kryptonite for the Kansas City Chiefs. They've won three in a row against the Chiefs including about a month ago, 27-24 to 24 was that final score. And also, in last year's AFC Championship game, which was also 27-24, to 24, in Kansas City, it seems like the Chiefs just roll over everybody. But if there's one team out there that gives them problems, it's this team. It's the Bengals. And then now we have Patty Mahomes on a bum wheel. So that's really going to tighten this game up even more. Oof, man, I can't wait for it, man. This is going to be some great championship games. On the other side, as we mentioned, 49ers and Eagles. Uh, the 49ers beating the Cowboys 19-12. to And Patrick, so I was rolling around Disneyland last night, man. Went out to Disneyland, and I'll say this. Not because I'm a 49er fan, but I always keep track. Try to find random jerseys and whatnot. I found one Micah Parsons jersey for the Cowboys. Mm. I saw... 
believe it or not, one Carson Wentz jersey for the Philadelphia Eagles, and I saw about a hundred 49er you know, jerseys, all Debo Samuel, George Kittle, Jerry Rice, you name it, and people all over the place had their phones out watching the game, man. The 49er fans were like taking over Disneyland last night and because uh, it went down to the wire. In fact, I was on Pirates on the, on the Caribbean when they locked it down. I was watching the game myself when I saw that final play and they had advanced. Uh, yeah, here we go again with Mike McCarthy's clock management. So that's going to be a big uh, DAC Crapping the bed, that's going to be another <laughs> thing. Also, Tony Pollard uh, fracturing his tibia, that was big too. He yeah. was the effective running back for Dallas all year. And remember, in the beginning, they were like, oh, high ankle sprain. You know what? We saw the air cast. We saw the cart. We saw the towel over his head. We're like, it can't be a high ankle sprain. If that's true, how the hell is Patrick Mahomes coming back out? Yeah, man. and Tony Pollard, some would say that he's probably the best running back on the Cowboys, it might not be Zeke Elliott. So yeah, that was oh. that was um, a big loss for the Cowboys, not having Tony Pollard out there for the that entire game. Um, and yeah, and then Zeke Elliott on that last drive, everyone's kind of yeah. making fun of Zeke because he got destroyed on that last play of the game playing center. It was a weird, weird formation. I know Dallas was trying to just make something happen, um, but yeah, Zeke got destroyed on that last play. And it was just not a look, good look for Dallas. But Patrick, this is what we expected of that 49ers defense, man. They are something else holding Dallas to just 12 points. They shut them down with some big-time plays in the red zone. Like this 49ers defense against this Eagles offense... I think it's going to be really fun to watch. Yep, we did learn that Zeke is not the best running back on the Cowboys. <laughs> no. And he sure as hell is not a center because he got run over like a freight train at the end of that game. <laughs> and you're right. Here goes the 49ers up to Philly. This is going to be a smash down fight too. Yeah, and the Eagles, uh, you know, all these games in the divisional round, they were all pretty good. They were all pretty close in like a one possession game, except... The Eagles just hammering the Giants 38-7 to on Saturday. So if, if one team is like really peaking and really looking their best and rolling past teams in the playoffs, it's the Philadelphia Eagles, man. Jalen Hurts and the Eagles look really, really good. I know the Giants were probably the weakest link in the playoffs if you had to pick a team. Um... But yeah, if you still if you beat any team 38 to 7, you are playing some really good football. So I think the Eagles have that in their corner that they're playing really well. They're scoring a lot of points, but there's not a lot of defenses like San Francisco. So that's going to be very intriguing seeing that Eagle offense and that Niner defense going head to head in Philadelphia this weekend. Gosh, it's time for the championship games. That's going to be unbelievable. On Thursday, when we talk to Pep once again, we'll give maybe the people a little update on the injuries. See how Patty Mahomes is coming along. See who's healthy and getting ready for these big games. I can't wait, man, to see what happens. Pep, tell me how to get your stuff. Hey, you can get my stuff right now on Inland Sports, all over social media, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. That is Inland Sports. Check it out. Thanks, Pep.